What it up, y'all? This is Denzel B. Ren. Sound on with you guys, girls. So today's gonna be another excellent episode day of Moon Knight Season 1, Episode 2, Summon the Suit. So previously in the episode of Season 1 of Moon Knight, we get to discover who Steven is and Mark. And um, he got a lot of uh, psychiatric personalities going on and stuff like that. Then we meet this villain guy. I can't forget his name, but he got the took Cinderella to a whole new different level with the glass shoes and stuff like that. Um, he's a bad guy to show and I'm gonna explore more about him and stuff like that. But since this episode is say is some of the suit, I think we're going to focus more into the suit and stuff like that and focus more on how the origin story of Moon Knight's personnel and who he is and dive more into the character stuff like that. And also let's give a shout out to Azid and Hafid, if I'm saying your right name right, or Azid or Hafad. Um, to my fans, thank you so much. You are appreciated and you are much loved. I just want to say all my love to my fans and people who are watching me and stuff like that. And just want to say you are loved. All right, let's talk in and more reactions. Y'all ready? Good. Action. His name tag is yeah. Steven. Wait. Well, he's he's Steven, but Oh. Oh, oh mate, thank you. you. Oh, thanks. thanks. Cheers. Okay. Does that statue have something to do with Moon Knight? Or somewhere in the comic books? I, uh... Steven. Hello, man in the mirror. <laughs> I'm wondering if you pop up again. I know you're scared. A bit, yeah. Look, I don't care how bloody handsome you are. Tell me what it is you are. God of the moon. Oh my god, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. I eat one piece of steak and then bam, I go bonkers. Like can't you? Here we go with this horrifying stuff. I said nope. I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. I'll be that one black guy that's dipping. <laughs> So he's married to her. Don't do it. storage locker. Stephen, listen to me. And inside of it, stop what we're doing right now. All sorts of stuff. You hear me? Most of the symbol is what? You show her that scarab. You're responsible when they come after her. No. No. Don't involve her in your life. You want to get her killed? What? Oh God, they've come for me. What? I vandalized the toilet. <laughs> Just a minute. Just the way how it sounds. <laughs> yeah. Is this about the toilet? Because um, it's been dealt with, yeah? <laughs> I've been sacked. And, uh... Hello? Hello? 
Oh shoot! I knew it. They're at that man's place. I knew it. There was something funny about them. Rather cling to their fear, cling to their pain. Go. Yes. <laughs> it's just so random. Yo. They all watch him. Who's free, free Willy? You're a vegan, right? Do not give me love. Just give me back. No, I don't. May I speak with Mark? Um, uh, Mark. Thought can't be evil, can it? Uh, I think about killing my boss all the time, but I wouldn't actually do it. <laughs> what about a child? Would she kill a child for something they might do in the film? Where's the scare? I have. Surrender your will, man. Ooh. Some Doctor Strange, magic, Wanda stuff. Oh my god, that's scary. Yep. That is fly and fresh. I can see people rocking that at Comic Con. That is fly. Ceremonial armor from Conscious Temple, not Psycho Colonel Sanders. Look, <laughs> <laughs> she actually see him wearing a suit. That looks so weird. <laughs> It looks embarrassing and humiliating. Oh my god. <laughs> Never mind, he handled it. Did he just say Wagwa? <laughs> he said Wagwa! Just a fancy throw. For now. Cool shot. Come on. Come on. Thank you, gotcha. Ooh. That whole bit was awesome. <laughs> Swag. Love it. That was awesome. You hurt people. I'm not gonna let you hurt anyone else ever again. Demon Demon shut up. I Just shut up. Stop it. Demon Demon it. Demon Demon Demon. Demon. I promise. Shut up. Park, you may not like my next candidate, near and dear as she is to you. Oh, like his little... Where are we going? Curse. Where the hell do you think? Yep. The three pyramids in Giza. Alright, so I just finished watching Moon Knight Season 1, Episode 2, and very, very interesting. I am very, really, really digging the show. Um, we are getting to learn to explore more of Mark. It's like sometimes like a Steven and Mark mixed up together, stuff like that. So what I've learned in my Moon Knight learning process is that um, like Mark had to surrender his 
life, his heart, his soul to Kanshu in order to save his wife and something like that. And so um, this wife and this this, this um, lady right here is his wife and she's going to get more into trouble since she's more involved and stuff like that. You know, I'm very interested. And another thing that I got a question on. Um, so the Avatar thing, which I'm really new and stuff like that in the Moon Knight universe. So the Avatar thing is like a, like a new body replacement for Kanchu to exist continuously since he's like a walking spiritual dark ghoul Egyptian crypt you know stuff like that and he has to live in Steven and Mark's body and stuff like that because in the bad guy I keep forgetting his name played by Ethan Hawke uh, he says that Kanshu used to live in his avatar and stuff like that so these avatars and with these gods of Egypt that's betraying one another why are they fighting and and what's you know what's it going to solve and what's how's it going to take effect in the Marvel Universe and another thing that I want to point out um what Marvel's doing with their magical coloring thing is that when you see these magic colors like you see like Scarlet Red for Wanda and then Loki when you do the magic is like purpley and green and all this stuff so in this magic here with Ethan Hawke's character um the bad guy <clears throat> his magic is like purple so I got to look at and see what that color magic represents stuff like that because it's very symbolic and stuff like that and it plays an important role I guess in the MCU um yeah but very interesting story I'm, I'm digging the story I'm not still not bored at all it's very interesting Oscar Isaacs is still blows me away with his acting with the split personnel stuff like that and it seems like um Mark has much more um more <laughs> devastation in his life and his in his mental consciousness stuff like that that's another thing I dig in the show. I really love the mental state, the psych, the psych. I'm tongue twisted today. What's going on? The mental breakdowns that's going between in the person's mind and stuff like that, what they see and go through, and the reflections that he has to see in life, his personality, his persona, blah blah blah, and all that other stuff. But yeah, but um, I think in episode three we might get to explore another personality of um. Because we got a Moon Knight. Because we got Mark. We got Steven. Who's the third person? I'm not a Moon Knight, Moon Knight expert and stuff like that. So you Moon Knight fans and Marvel fans, y'all please elaborate stuff like that. And I'm going to take a look at some new speculations. But my guy, New Rockstar. If y'all guys don't know who New Rockstar is, he's a guy that elaborates with everything. He knows every detail stuff like that. Which is why I love to watch this guy. So maybe tune in. I may do a reaction to his um, thoughts about, about Moon Knight stuff like that. But overall, I give this episode a 9 out of 10. Um, what I did enjoy in this episode was the new suit. That suit has swag and flavor. I can see people rocking that out in Comic Con <laughs> in the Moon Knight stuff like that. That was really cool stuff like that. And it seems like, like, like I said, Stephen tried to handle himself with Mark. It's mostly like he had the brutality and he could have the all of you know the things that he has to go through and stuff like that. But very interesting. And I feel, it felt like Khonshu is like an enslaver person for Moon Knight because like he he can't surrender. You know, he's, 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 Mark is trapped and connected with him and stuff like that. So he, he has to do his job and stuff like that. You know, if he feels, you get what I'm saying, right? And stuff like that. You know, he, he surrenders soul and stuff like that. Almost feel like Ghost Rider in a way. Almost in a way, it reminds me of. That's what it reminded me of. Um, yeah, but anywho, that was my reaction. I give this episode, like I said again, a 9 out of 10. This is season 1, episode 2, the Moon Knight series. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in to hear me out and see my reactions and thoughts about it. Um, and what are you guys and girls' thoughts about the Marvel TV show Moon Knight? Comment below, let me know. Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? What do you think could be and better? Or what do you think is going to happen next in the near future? Do some speculations. I want to hear it out. Just nerd out. Comment below, let me know. Also, if you have enjoyed my reactions, click that like, subscribe, and share button. More reveals we posted each and every other week. So with that being said, this is Denzel B. Red signing out. With a bang. <laughs>